Hey guys, this is uh, Dooley. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, bead or lines. Uh, and again, there are two overloads of this function. One that takes a string, uh, which is the path of the file we're trying to read. And one that takes the path and the encoding we expected that uh, file to be in. Now today, we'll, we're just gonna, you know, the, the difference uh, uh, is essentially the same as the read all text function so there's no need to really go into the encoding again um, so you can see here that we already pulled in the system that I own in space uh, as we did before um, here I have a couple of files uh, large data at CSV which is a uh, very large uh, I think they are like uh, 200 or 200,000 lines of uh, lines of uh, uh, data in it and I just have a sample of it here which is just 10 lines uh, so we can play around with you can see here I already uh, initialized some uh, paths uh, to the files so what we are what, what the function does essentially is it will read the whole contents of the file and give us an array of, of the different lines that uh, uh, in order uh, that appear in the files. So let's go ahead and try to read the small file path. I'm just going to write a function as we've done before uh, so we can just call that function. Uh, let's do public static and uh, I really don't want any returns and uh, let's call it read read all lines in file okay and let's make it take uh, a string which is going to be the path to the file and uh, well it's going to be essentially very similar to the, the functions we've been writing before so let's just do a try catch block. We're gonna try, let's call this lines because what we're gonna get is an array of strings. Let's call the function file that read all lines. Okay, and let's pass it the path. Oops, if we want that one. And let's just uh, write how many lines are in the file. And then how many lines? It's just going to be lines that length. Okay. And let's let's catch possible exceptions. Let's just print out the message. Okay, read that message. All right, now let's call the function with a small file path. Let's do that. We do lines in file and there's small file path. All right, let's see what we got. Oops. Uh, let's run that. Okay. Well, it's telling us here that there are 10 lines in the file. We could actually even uh, print out all the lines for the small file. Let's do that here. Uh, let's do a for each. Uh, each line in lines okay let's uh, let's print it out okay all right let's do that again 
we got we got the ten lines. And this is data, so this is considered one line, and this is line two, line three, and so on. For the large file, uh, we are not going to do that because it's a very large file and it's going to take us a while to see those different prints. So let's try and do that. Large file path. And let's see how big it is. Okay. So it's 284,808 lines uh, in the large files. So, and you could see there that it took some time before we get that value. And that's because the file is large. It had to read it for some time. And we could check here um, um, how long it took uh, to see that file. So let's do this. Let's do var. Um, now is equal to date time that now okay that's now okay then uh, when it's done let's do console so that right line And that now minus now okay this is simply going to give us a duration in seconds uh, of you know between when we started reading the file to the time we got out of uh, reading the file actually this is well let's let's do let's make this more comprehensive so that okay, and let's put it here so we don't lose any time over printing that number. All right, let's let's go again. Let's see, well, first let's see how long it took for the small file. Uh, how about that? Let's see. Didn't take very long. A tenth of a second? A tenth of a second? Okay, well, let's try and see how long it will take for the large file. Mm -hmm. About one, one or two orders of magnitude about two orders of magnitude uh, bigger so imagine you know having to read you know if you're doing data processing in, of large files um, this could be an issue for you so um, that's one of the problems this function has this function has uh, it's the fact that it's gonna read the whole file before you can do anything else and there are options in, in C sharp uh, to uh, uh, to be able to read these files uh, chunks at a time um, and be able to go do something else or to have the reading of the file delegated to some other thread or process that you know that allows you to simply you know read that line and then go finish your program and have the rest of the reading of the file be done in the background so this is uh, how you call the function 
you know, give it the path. And if the encoding was important to you, you would give it the encoding as well. And then um, what it will do is give you an array of, uh, of strings containing uh, the lines of the file uh, in the order they appear in the file. So this this is the this is this tutorial. And if you've got uh, questions, uh, please send them my way.